mine or if this is your first video of mine, hello, welcome. Today I hope you are super excited because this has been long awaited. This is my Everly Rings review. Um, it's like a, it's basically like a wear test. I've had my rings for about seven months now, so I wanted to give you guys a full on review of how they've been wearing. And I have a ton of questions from my previous video. If you have not watched my previous video, it is me unboxing and kind of like my first impression. So if you're interested in watching that, then just go ahead and I will link that above. Um, go ahead and watch that. But if you did not, I'm sure you're not really missing out much on anything. It was pretty much just me being like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Um, but yeah, so I have a ton of questions that were listed on that video. So I just kind of compiled them into a couple. And I'm just going to give you my rundown on how the rings are, if I recommend them, and everything. So if you're interested in seeing my personal opinions on the ring, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so just to kind of go over the rings that I did purchase, I'm going to take them off. So the first one that I got is a band. I got. I ended up getting four rings. The the fourth one I'm not going to show. That's just like a stackable band that that's what I use like on occasion. The first one that I got is the Elamine band. So it is like a it's like an inner inner wound um, band, but it does not go all the way around. It's not like an infinity ring, but it is gorgeous nonetheless. So this is the Elamine. The engagement ring that I got is the Regina ring and it is this beautiful, I think it's like two and a half carat um, a halo ring and it does not go all the way around but that's okay. But yes, this is the Regina ring. They did just come out with a ton of new ones for Valentine's Day. It's very similar to the, the new Leo ring. And then this one is the Luna band. So this one is my favorite, to be 100% honest. It's super like vintagey looking, and it is an uh, eternity band. Intent, yeah. So basically, an infinity band. Sorry. Um, so it goes all the way around, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I did get it in the sterling silver. I want to say it's been so long, guys. It's I got these in July, and when I'm filming this, it is February. So. Been seven months so I did buy these during the 4th of July sale because mine and my husband's anniversary is July 11th so I wanted to get a couple more bands to kind of style with my current um, wedding set um, so I wanted to get like more affordable options so I found the Everly rings so I have had these for about seven months I I have worn them for a very long time. Just recently, like I said in my initial video, I like to switch up my rings. So for the past like month and a half, I've just been kind of sticking to my wedding band, but it still doesn't mean that I have not worn the crap out of these. I seriously wore these for five months straight and that's my dog crying at me. <laughs> um, I still absolutely love them. They are absolutely gorgeous. I have yet to actually prop, like I did wash them with um, like Dawn dish soap and warm water, but I haven't actually used like a proper um, jewelry cleaner on them, but it still has a beautiful shine. It does look a little foggy, which I'm very, I am assuming that it's kind of similar to a Morganite where you really have to get in there with a, like a cleaning solution. So I think that's the reason why it's a little foggy, but I mean, real diamonds get foggy all the time, but nonetheless, this is absolutely stunning. I've gotten so many compliments on my ring. It's, I have very, very small hands, so it does look a little crazy on me sometimes, but I'm all about it. It's a very much a showpiece, um, but I absolutely love it so much. Um, I don't see much tarnishing. There are, it does, the bands did get a little tarnished, but they have yet to turn my finger green, and I... I do have to say I am very safe with them when I do wash my hands. I do take them off because I just honestly don't like the way that the water gets kind of like, um, what's the word? Trapped in between like the ring and my finger because then it just like gets all slimy and stuff. But 
I haven't had an issue with them turning my finger green. Absolutely not. Um, like I said, some of there are some wear and tear, but it's just because I've worn them out. I'm not kidding when I say I wore this for like five months straight. That's my take on it. I think that these are absolutely stunning. Honestly, I think the reason why I haven't worn them so much lately is because during the winter time, my hands get super cold and the ring is just so big that it just flops around on my hand. So it does kind of get a little annoying, but, um, I also do really need to like properly clean it, which is honestly, it's my bad. Um, but even then, like it still looks and it looks absolutely stunning. So to get into the questions, I'm just going to keep you guys close just in case I want to get, I want to show you, um, the rings when I'm talking. The first question that I did get was, did I get them in the same size for each ring? And the answer is yes. I typically wear a size like 4.75. I have very, very baby, I have small fingers, baby hands basically. Um, so I got a size five in all of them and honestly they all feel fit perfect. Um, none of them feel a little loose or anything. The unfortunate thing about um, Everly rings is that they don't have half sizes, they don't have quarter sizes, so you kind of got to have to figure out what size would fit best for your finger, but because five is the smallest, I don't think a four would have fit, but um, I got a five in all of my ring sizes and they they fit perfectly. I don't have an issue with them at all. And when my my fingers do get warm, they obviously swell just like everybody else. So right now they're pretty snug. Um, it's nice and warm in my house. So I don't have to worry about them sliding off my fingers, which I'm very happy about. Another question is if it sparkles in different lighting. And I do have to say that it does, obviously. Like right now, you're not really going to get much of, a, much of a sparkle because I don't have direct light on it. But it does give off this beautiful, you know, luminescent um, shine to it. It's not much different than my wedding ring. Um, this is my wedding ring and my wedding band. These are real diamonds. Um, they're very similar. I do think that my real diamond does give off more of a like a crystally shine, I do have to say, but it doesn't it doesn't take away the fact that this still very much shines. It's just a different shine. This is just more like rainbowy. This just it does shine, but it obviously shines a little bit different than a diamond. I'm sorry if that shifted a little bit. <laughs> Had some technical difficulties. I mean, obviously it does shine differently in um, different lighting, but yeah, both of them shine nonetheless. The next question is, um, how do they hold their shine? And honestly, like I said, it does look a little faded at the moment, but. I think it's just because I have not properly cleaned it. However, I can't take away the fact that if it's in direct sunlight, it still absolutely shines like a real diamond. I've actually had people at work and I work in an office, so there's fluorescent lighting. I've had people compliment me on it saying it's super shiny, it's super big, and they actually think it's a real diamond. So I think that honestly, like from like the naked eye, a lot of people, they can't really tell if it's a real diamond or not. It still gives off that beautiful shine and um yeah i think it's so absolutely stunning even though it's a little foggy at the moment so the next question that i have i kind of already answered and it was them asking if they've tarnished or turned my finger green and the answer is absolutely not um in regards to turn my finger green i'm very very safe with my rings um i don't treat them like garbage but yes they have tarnished a little bit but i feel like you're gonna get that with any um ring i mean this is my real wedding band and I do have some sort of tarnishing on my bands a little bit. Um, they are white gold so it like my wedding ring actually has kind of like a yellow hue to it but other than that I think normal wear and tear is going to happen on any ring regardless if it's a real like sterling silver, real gold, anything. But no I have not had my um, rings turn my finger green and yeah. I just think if you were to get these rings, you have to be super safe with them. Um, you obviously can't be constantly washing your hands with soap and water. Otherwise, I feel like eventually it will turn your finger green. But as long as you're safe with them, as long as, long as you're, you know, as long as you upkeep your rings, you should be 100% fine. The last question that I got was how quickly did they arrive? So I had mentioned earlier that I got them around the 4th of July and uh, I believe the 4th of July, they had the sale from like on the weekend and I believe I ordered on Sunday um, or Saturday. I 
could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was a Sunday and they shipped the next day and I got them on a Wednesday, I want to say. So super, super fast shipping and processing. I'm, I was actually blown away. They are shipped out of uh, Charleston, South Carolina, I'm pretty sure. So if you're closer, obviously you probably would have gotten them faster than me because I'm on the West Coast. I live in Vegas. So I do think regardless, uh, four day turn time from ordering, processing, shipping, and receiving was a great, it, it was so fast. It was a lot faster than I honestly ever expected. I really thought I was going to be waiting at least a week and I got them within like three business days. It was absolutely amazing. Great, great service. Um, I could not say anything better about them. Okay, so that's all the questions that I have regarding um, my rings from my previous video. So Obviously, I'm gonna tell you my, my straight up opinion. Um, would I get them again? Honestly, I have three in my cart right now. I'm, I want to buy more. Um, I've said it many times in my first video, I love switching out my rings. I like switching out my styles. Um, so it just gives me the opportunity to switch it out. And it looks like real, real diamonds. I mean, they are lab created. Um, really, the only difference is the metal that they use to band them together. But I believe this is sterling silver. I have yet to have an issue with them. I treat them very, very well. Um, would I suggest them? 100%. If you are on the market for a cheap engagement ring and you don't want to spend the thousands of dollars, which I don't blame you, I would totally 100% go with Everly Rings. Um, and I feel like I do have you know a, a good word to say about them since I've had them for seven months and haven't had an issue. Um, I would totally suggest this, even if you're looking for a replacement ring, kind of like what I did. I, like I said, I like to switch mine out, so sometimes I'll wear this, but a lot of the times I will wear this. And I'm not mad about either decision because they both look great. I really don't have anything negative to say about it. I, I mean, like I said, it does get a little cloudy, but that's just me being kind of poor about keeping them clean but that's just kind of one of my bad habits but even then like I still make sure I take care of them I don't wear them in water um none of that so as long as you really treat your rings with you know respect you should not have a problem and I definitely suggest Everly rings they do have a lot of deals almost all the time so you can always get a great deal when they even don't have deals they have deals um, you can get three rings for $150, which is absolutely, it's a steal, guys. It's a steal. So if you are in a pinch, if you're looking for a travel ring, if you just want a, a cheaper alternative to a wedding band, I highly suggest Everly Rings. You cannot go wrong. The customer service is great. Their social media is absolutely stunning. I love going on there every day to see what they have posted. They always have new releases. They I just absolutely love this company and I really hope that you guys give them a chance if you were on the fence about doing them. This is in no way sponsored by Everly. I really wish it was though. But um, I again, I really 100% would suggest Everly Rings. If you do decide to get any, um, please let me know. Go on Instagram, DM me pictures. I would love to see. Um, or comment below. Let me know if you did decide to order. Um, I'm really excited to see if you guys do purchase based off my review. Um, I really hope that this was informative and it really helps you kind of make your decision on the rings. Um, and I hope that it really, it really helped you. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing any of my future videos. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.